Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 27th, 2020. It's hump day, and oh my goodness, do we have a lot of data on our plate today. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, buckle up, and let's see if we can make sense of the technicals here this morning as we prepare for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Um, we have an interesting market this morning with a mixed bag of results and maybe just a little bit of confusion as we head into a blizzard of economic and earnings data today. So let's take a look at these technicals, see if we can glean some information from that. And I got to tell you, if you are um, planning on doing a lot of trading today, if you're all wound up about getting in there and putting money at risk, you are a braver person than I. I will probably be more of a um, stand on the sideline and watch um, this morning as we're likely to see some incredible price volatility over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at these um, index charts and see if we can see what we've got going on this morning. First off, we have the Dow pointing to a substantial gap down this morning. As you can see, this is the pre-market candle here. And as I speak right at this second, Dow futures are down 245 points. We're trying to hold on to that trend still. So we still haven't broken the trend, but we certainly have an interesting open here this morning. We're looking at the Dow trying to hold on, at least at the moment. We've got every reason to believe that those bulls will step in and try to hold on to that support level. But there is a bit of a bearish attack going on in the Dow index. Now, let's keep in mind, if they were able to push down through this support, I want you to note that the, the push on lower to the next level of support could be rather painful. We're talking about several hundred points if um, that were to occur. So watch that closely. I'm not exactly sure um, what we're seeing here, perhaps a rotation out of some of the value type plays that we've been seeing here recently after the strong results um, in Microsoft earnings yesterday. I don't know, kind of an interesting situation. So um, be careful here. We've got that push down happening in the Dow. If those bears increase that aggressiveness and we've been seeing them um, starting to gain a little bit more confidence here lately, um, if we start breaking down, watch those stop losses begin to trigger. And we could see a substantial sell-off possibility um, if that were the case. So watch that closely. If we take a look at um, the moving averages here on the chart, notice that it's really not that bad a deal um, right now because we've consolidated long enough that our 50-day moving average has moved up substantially. But I wouldn't rule out a test of the 50-day moving average here the way this is looking this morning. So kind of keep an eye on that and that could be a rather painful pull back in the Dow today. Watch that closely if that were to occur. Let's take a look at the SPY now. SPY, SPY is also seeing some pressure here this morning. We're getting some selling in that SPY. You can see we're still holding on to that upside trend, so no harm, no foul just yet, but it could be rather painful. Um, is if we lose that support level. As you can see, if we lose that little support level in the chart, we're probably gonna come back down to here. And we're already looking at a pretty substantial move lower. Um, right now, the um, um, S&P 500 futures are pointing to about a 40 point gap down this morning. And that could um, get worse if that selling picks up here and breaks uh, this level here in the chart. So watch that closely. And once again, we've seen that 50 day moving average rallying up, but notice that this is still going to be a pretty painful pullback if we were to come back and see that 50 day moving average 
S and P 500 would feel some uh, substantial pain if that were the case. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look at the Nasdaq. We had Amazon. I mean Microsoft um, report. Um, great results yesterday and um, we have the NASDAQ the NASDAQ was earlier this morning pointing to a push higher a gap up open now what's interesting is we're starting to see in the pre-market here we're building a little bit more energy to the downside um, and take a look at that we've got a bearish engulfing candle starting to show in that pre-market candle this was at one point in time looking for a gap up so remember i've been talking about the possibility that even though we could get some good earnings reports from these companies will they be enough to actually hold the market higher um or, or will these news events be more of a sell the news event um, even though they produce a pretty good earnings report I can't tell you, but it's sure looking like that this morning, um, that big strong earnings from Microsoft uh, pushing down. And then we had earnings from AMD and Texas Instruments. We'll look at those in just a second. That are also, uh, they beat earnings estimates, but they are indicated lower this morning. So um, kind of an interesting um, market setup today. Now, as you can see, we've got um, a little bit of price support here on this chart. But that could be a rather painful pullback. If we're going to pull back into here, it could be rather painful for the market um, overall. And I don't know that the NASDAQ really ha could warrant that kind of a pullback. Um, there's going to be an awful lot of anticipation um, with um, big tech reports this afternoon. So kind of an interesting day. Um, we should expect just about anything. Watch that volatility maybe spike up a bit today. Um, uh, hard to know what to do this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been holding up really, really strong, but now it is also starting to show a little bit of shine coming off of that um, a strong, strong rally. And we may actually give up, depending on how you draw this trend, we may actually give up that trend today with this gap down open so watch that carefully and please note that this has just been a rally 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 mode so really we don't have much price support until we move all the way down into here which could be um, a little bit of a painful um, sell-off if that were to occur um, so watch that carefully and closely this morning. It's going to be an interesting, interesting day with lots of data coming our way. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX uh, continues to be that little bit of perplexing um, attitude here. And as you can see, we're continuing to hold that little upside move here in the VIX, even though the, those markets just continue to try and press and press and press for more highs. There is a little bit of concern here in this morning. Right now, Dow futures are pointing to 282 points now in that gap down. I would suspect we're going to see fear perk up a little bit here today in the chart. Now, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see that fear perk up and then actually hold a higher low. That's where we could run into some trouble. So watch that closely here this morning. I've been warning this week to be very, very careful not to over trade, to be to, um, uh, you know, pull in those cards just a little bit, be in a little bit more in protection mode. And it looks like we could get that that little bit of hit today. Now, I can't tell you if they're going to follow through with it or if we're going to get that gap down and those buyers are going to rush back in, um, propping the market back up, the buy the dip trader uh, trades. I don't know. But there is enough danger here this morning. I would suggest just a little bit of cautiousness. Dow futures just now ticked back down below 300 points. So about a 300 point gap down, at least at the moment, is indicated here this morning. Let's take a look at um, T2122. Now, T2122 did see a little bit of pullback yesterday. And that pullback, oops. Um, that pullback was not substantial. And as you can see, we even though we had um, the big tech 
sectors rising, big tech giants rising, we saw the majority of stocks actually pulling back yesterday or in a consolidation mode. Now this morning with a big gap down open, we could easily see that drive lower here. If those bears start picking up the scent of fresh blood on the street, they could really attack here. They haven't eaten for quite some time. So watch that closely. Is this the time we're going to push back down in here? Uh, maybe see that condition where we finally reach back down here into that lower area? Maybe. So um, watch carefully. Hang on and um, try not to panic today um, because there's probably going to be a lot of back and forth going on in uh, the market today with all of this data. And then yesterday we saw T2101 that absolute market breadth as we were seeing those tech sector stocks trying to rally and and fewer and fewer stocks being able to hold the market up we saw that market breadth decline now my guess is this morning we're going to see that market breadth actually increase unfortunately it's going to be um, based on selling moves that could move that higher. So watch that closely. We could spike up here in that market breadth, but it's going to be on that selling side of things. And if it really starts to pick up, we could see a little bit of that panic coming in as everyone just bails out to protect profits. Um, that could accelerate this quite a bit. We've, we've been pretty darn extended. So if that selling wave comes in and if it starts to accelerate, it could get pretty intense. So watch that closely today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar has some stuff on it today that we're really going to want to pay attention to. Um, first off, this morning, we have durable goods orders. Durable goods, um, obviously a market moving uh, potential report that comes out here at 8.30. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And if we take a look at our petroleum status report, that'll be important today as well, whether we can continue to support those oil prices. We'll want to watch that. And then the Mac Daddy of the Day, we're going to have Jerome Powell coming out with the FOMC announcement and uh, the Fed press conference after that. And this always engenders some um, attention and could create some market volatility. Now, with that said, after the bell today, we have a big round of earnings reports. We're going to hear from we're going to hear from Tesla. We're going to hear from Apple. And we're also going to hear from Facebook. Um, these are uh, three of the major giants that make up a big weight in the um, markets right now. And anything is possible. Um, anticipation is high that they will report well. But let's keep in mind, we had um, AMD report strong earnings yesterday. And look what happened. It's indicating lower here this morning. And maybe even setting up a possible head and shoulders topping pattern. Um, and a downtrend. And we also had Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments reported a strong earnings result yesterday. Um, it's indicated sharply lower and is even trying to break its uptrend here this morning. So watch that closely. Now, Microsoft had a great report um, gapping up substantially here today, but notice in that pre market candle, we're seeing some pre market selling coming in here this morning. Kind of a, um, an interesting um, set of results here today. So watch that closely. Um, could this be the sell the news event? We finally get those earnings reports and we sell off. Perhaps those earnings after the bell today could lift us back up, but there's an awful lot of um, concern um, apparently here this morning. Dow futures are now down 330 points. So a little bit of a rough road ahead of us here, perhaps. Let's take a look at the um, remainder of that earnings calendar. And we have a significant number of earnings. What I want to do is suggest everyone go over to the morning blog. You can do that by clicking that link just right under the title of the video and see the full list of stocks that we'll be reporting today. But we have quite quite a bit. We have ABT, ABT reporting today. It looks like we're getting in this pre-market. We had a little pop and drop going on here on AMD. 
Um, we've got AT&T reporting today. Looks like that's getting a little bit of a pullback here this morning. Um, we've got BX on the list, um, also showing a little bit of pullback this morning. Now, I can't tell you if that is a result of the earnings or if that's just the result of the way the market's acting this morning, but um, kind of keep that in mind. Boeing, uh, Boeing reporting this morning, and they're reporting an $11.9 billion loss. And um, I guess they're pushing back their 777 debut um, to for a couple of years uh, because of the damage done here. So um, that's pulling back. We'll have Corning, GLW, GLW uh, reporting today. Looks like it's trying to get a little bit of a bump up this morning. Cree, Cree is reporting today. Um, we've got some um, oil in there. We've got Hess reporting we've got some clothing um, levi's reporting today keep an eye on those we have um, some gold um, gold miners trying to report and we'll take that right on down to um, uh, Whirlpool will be reporting today as well. So um, a lot of stocks reporting, um, a lot of things happening in the market that can create some volatility. So be prepared for that. Anything is possible. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if um, you feel that this video is worthy, if you feel like this helped you plan for your day, um, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. And also feel free to share these videos out there on your social media platforms. It helps us continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. What I'm going to point out, and, and, and I'm going to, um, uh, I usually don't do this, but let's take a look at um, space. Um, SPCE. Wow, what a tremendous move in space. Um, Rightway Options um, has been on this trade for some time. We're holding this as more of a longer term position, but I think a lot of the traders in Rightway Options have already capitalized on the profits of this trade. Um, space is doing extremely well, and we're showing that we gapped up this morning and maybe pulling back. I would suspect this needs a rest or pullback. But I just wanted to report right now in space, um, right way options, my current account up 217% on that trade. And I'm still willing to hold. I've got this covered with some short, um, short stock and, or some short options. So I'm in pretty good shape on this. And I think I'm going to continue to hold this uh, for a while. So watch that um, space really, really strong. Once again, I fully expect a rest or pullback. I would not chase this trade, but I just wanted to show the kind of things that are possible with options. And um, um, even if this pulls back into here, um, we're going to have huge results um, overall in this trade and plenty of time yet to potentially hold this position. So um, really nice, really nice trade for us. Um, looking good. Um, take a look today, guys. You might want to take a peek. XLU. XLU is one of those safety plays that can come in that we might want to keep an eye on. And XLU, you can see, is pulling back this morning. It's reacting negatively this morning. We had a good pop over here. And actually, we bought this in right, right way options on this candle. Um, as of the close of yesterday, we had a little tiny bit of profit and it looks like that's going to slip away this morning. But watch that closely. Um, if we start getting some fear coming into the market, we might start seeing some of these safety plays pick up. So take a look at utilities. You might want to look um, into some of the precious metals, gold and silver. Now, those are also being hit this morning. So um, pretty interesting market here. Um, it's like everything all of a sudden just turned ugly. Um, watch that closely. Other stocks out there that are looking pretty good. We've seen some really good results. Um, nice consolidations in some of these um, retail um, stocks like Kohl's. Kohl's holding up well. GPS 
um, hanging in there, starting to slip here just um, yesterday and this morning, but holding into this um, um, nice little pattern here, worth keeping an eye on, I think, in that chart. Um, take a look at stocks like NKLA. We were on this trade, NKLA pushing up nicely here. Um, expect a pullback. We also have Solo that you might want to keep an eye on holding up in here. NIO continues to hang into a nice little supporting pattern. Might want to keep an eye on that. Other places that you might want to have a look at, take a look at PZZA. PZZA, that COVID, um, COVID stock has done really, really well as people continue to um, um, order up those pizzas in, in, in a strong supply chain, I guess, on that um, staying home. But um, we're looking at a breakout of some resistance here on PZZA this morning. Watch that closely, looking pretty pretty strong overall. Keep a close eye on that. Some other trains that I think are kind of interesting, we'll want to keep an eye on. Um, Altria here. Now, Altria is going to report tomorrow, so I wouldn't want to be buying this. But the one thing that's interesting in this chart to me is that we are up here testing this long-term downtrend line. Now, if this happens to report well and we pop through that area, I could see that opportunity of a nice upside trade to maybe a longer term hold as we just have a reversion to the mean. We just kind of come back up here to the middle of the road in that trade. Keep an eye on Altria and also 3M. Now 3M got past its earnings yesterday and as you can see, 3M perking up here pretty nice and strong. Um, breaking through a long-term downtrend. And when we see stocks starting to roll over, we've had all these high flyers pushing up. Um, it's a good time to start looking at those that have been underloved for some time. Um, that's where you may find some yield um, in the market. So keep an eye on 3M. If this gets a little rest or pullback in here that holds that downtrend as support, there may be an opportunity here to pick up some stocks like this that have been underloved. And as the market sees a little bit of concern here, these might start picking up and finding some favor in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Day. Try not to panic. It's going to be a little bit of a, um, a wild day. Might be a good day to just kind of pull back and protect yourself in the market because anything is possible. Um, Y'all have a great day. Be safe. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.